Major feature, tasks table view. Hi guys, this is Stefan from Kitchen. Today I'm super excited to show you a major feature we have been working on over the last couple of months. And this is the new table view for tasks. We actually postponed uh, the release a bit because we, really, we received some valuable feedback from our users. And as we always listen to our community, we decided to make some changes uh, before launching. So let me give you a quick tour. Okay, so this is the table view. You can switch between board and table from the tabs at the top. To add task, just click on the add new item and add a task. Uh, then you can add another one. If you want to continue adding, you can press shift plus enter. And you can pretty fast add new tasks. You can also navigate, navigate the whole table using your keyboard and to edit something just press enter or for task names you can just start typing you can change values on other cells by pressing enter and so on you can also reorder tasks like this and the order will be the same as you reorder task on the board view so if we change if we move this here it's on the last position and we can basically move it here as well and this will reflect here so that's all the basics uh, so let me show some cool features uh, you can add custom fields to table to the table view as well so from here we can add a custom field for example number and uh, let's say this is like something like a price we can change the formatting to usd dollar and then we can add like thousand dollars and the formatting will apply so you can also add uh, text custom fields list and then you can select that this option one so the difference between list and multi list is that with multi list you can select multiple options so this will one two and this will be Three. So we currently have support for text, list, multi list, dates. You can add another date if you want uh, on the table, checks bo checkbox, which is uh, something like true and false or done or not done, something like that, URL, email, and phone. Uh, here I have global custom fields. So basically, these global custom fields are shared in my whole workspace. So you can add this as well. We've added some other cool features such as you can reorder the columns. Like this. Uh, you can resize the columns. Or even you can set a custom size like this. You can also collapse columns or you can just collapse like this. You can also color code some cells. So we can make this yellow, we can make uh, this around green. Uh, you can also, so if you want to add a custom field on the left or on the right or a, another column, you can do this like this. And you can do the same uh, basically for right, so you can add something on the right side. Uh, you can also sort by every column, so we can sort tasks. Uh, to open the menu here, you can either click with the left or the right click, both will work. 
uh, and you can do a similar thing if you want to add a task above for example this one select insert above and below okay and you can also duplicate an entire row like this so if you change like the list of some tasks you will see that they're moving below so i will make this doing and this done so the reason for that is that again the order is exactly the same on the board so for example if i move to do after doing this will reflect here and the other thing is that if you want to add like task between these two this the list will be automatically added so here we basically add in the to do list okay so two more uh nice major features for the table so first we added filters new filters for tables you can filter by list so for example you can see only open tasks doing or to do or a combination uh, the other new filter is incomplete so if you want to hide uh, the completed task just click here uh, another thing is that filters are actually filters are actually saved per view this means that you can have like different filters for table view so currently i have like incompleted or assigned to me so no filters no task here but then when i switch to the board view i can have like different filters okay and uh, the reason uh, that we postponed the launch is that we've added groups so what you can do is to group tasks by list label due date or member so let's group by list so now uh, you have groups for each list and if you want basically to uh, move a task from open to doing you just drag it to doing uh, you can add task for open and doing similar to how you will do on the Kanban view okay you can also collapse uh, groups and you can filter by uh, sorry you can group by uh, other task properties like for example let's group by member so we have two members so me and a client and we have unassigned tasks so for example if you want to assign a task to the client i can either select from here or i can just drag and drop here and this basically applies for the other uh, properties like due date so we don't have any due date but if i add like so for due date i'm actually using the wrong column so i thought this is a bug but this is the actual column that's due date that's a different date that i added so and i thought it's not okay but so if you add like for example due date again we see a new group like this and again we can drag and drop tasks to different uh to different dates so i think that's for now we will post like uh small videos explain each of the features uh thanks for watching thank you very much for your support and see you soon bye bye